The line. Also tonight, a fast-moving dump truck plowing into vehicles stopped at a red light. A violent wreck that would leave at least one person dead. Why that city of Miami truck didn't stop, that still isn't clear tonight. And what we do know is this. The deadly chain reaction crash left many wounded in its wake. And one of those victims talking with us tonight. Our local 10 news reporter Victor Akendo live with a story for us. Victor. And Calvin and Lori, that man says he is shaken up and confused. We spoke to him as he walked out of Jackson Memorial Hospital tonight. He says that after looking at the wreckage at the aftermath of this 11 car, 11 vehicle wreck, he knows that he's lucky to be alive. That moment was awful. You don't even realize what's happening when your car is spinning, all that I could say. Fresh out of the hospital with only some cuts and bumps, Grico Diaz was behind the wheel of one of the 11 cars involved in what Miami Fire Rescue called a mass casualty wreck. Not even scary. It's nothing. There is nothing in your mind that moment. Rescue arrived to find all 11 vehicles and parts of vehicles across the intersection of 17th Avenue and 7th Street. The taxi, a medical transport van, a scooter, several passenger cars, and a city of Miami dump truck. Clearly, the dump truck never slowed for that red light at 17th Avenue. This is probably like one of the worst incidents that we have seen that involved the city vehicle. Four people were sent to the hospital, and in that yellow cab, a longtime customer, a woman they knew well, would not live through it. Been riding with her with us for over 25, 30 years. She takes a cab practically every day. The hit, explosion, and fire all happened in just six seconds. Hours later, and investigators were still on scene. There's a lot of things detectives need to look at at this very moment. What caused that uh, driver to collide into the uh, rear compartment of that taxi? Also in Diaz's car, a mother and her six-year-old boy. Thankfully, he says, they're doing okay. I feel blessed. That's how I feel. So I'm very thankful and, you know, I already thank God for everything. I, I just born again today. Now, investigators are talking to every witness and gathering as much surveillance video as possible as they try to figure out why the driver of that dump truck didn't stop. We're in Miami at Jackson Memorial Hospital. I'm Victor Okendo, Local 10 News. Victor, thank you. One of the